Oh my gosh, this is an amazing promo for the new documentary, Ben DeSoto, for art's sake. It focuses on the history of H-Town music while truly highlighting the body of work by the amazing photographer himself, Ben DeSoto. And co-executive producer, creative director, and editor of this entire documentary, Andrew Benavides is here to share more. Yeah. All right, so we've <laughs> got to talk about this truly remarkable project. Why yes. did you decide to do this? Well, as a filmmaker, for me, you know, it's my job to tell a story. Mm -hmm. And when I heard about the subject, I immediately was on board. You know, my partner, Michael, he approached me with it and told me what he wanted to do with it. And obviously, it was a passion project for both of us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's one thing to have a craft and, and do something for a job or anything like that. But it's, it's another thing to do it when you're passionate about the subject. True. And, you know, I think that's a great formula to create something special. And for those who don't know, Ben DeSoto is one of the most uh, iconic photographers out there from this area. And then just taking some pictures of, and I know who that is. Go ahead, talk about some of the people. Yeah, there's Iggy there. Pop, Iggy Pop. Pop. Madonna, James Brown, King, hey. and that was at Fitzgerald's <laughs> in the Heights. You got Red Hot Chili Peppers at Numbers. You know, he, he shot a lot of uh, different artists that would come and, and tour in the city of Houston back in those days. And he actually was, you know, there when, you know, the punk scene developed. And that that's a really strong point it sure is. Of, of the documentary. Like, that, that stands out the most to me and my, my favorite part of the documentary. So, you know, I mean, he, he's just shot so many different artists. And, you know, I just think he's one of Houston's best kept secrets. I know. And, and what is it that you found out, one thing that you found out that you did not know about him? Well, his personality. I mean, you know, when, when you see the documentary, when you watch it, the first thing you're going to notice is his personality. It stands out so much. And, like, you know, he's just such a kind-hearted person and very passionate about his work. And, you know, that's something that stuck out to me, you know, because when I walked into this, you know, I walked into it with Ben being my subject. Yeah. But I'm walking away from it with Ben being a great friend. I love that. And also, not only just being a friend and a, a mentor for so many people out mm -hmm. there, but just being a part of history. Because it's, there are very few people who you can talk to who can say that, right? Absolutely. Like I said, this started as a passion project, and you know we ended up getting a grant uh, from the city of Houston through the Houston Arts Alliance. And Which that, means that you also get to showcase it to people. Where is it going to be and It's going to be at Match Theater, November 6th. Uh, it's going to be two screens, eight and nine. So we're also going to have a gallery there with his work. The good people from U of H, the African American Library, and Houston Public Library are bringing his archives because they host his archives. Wow. So we're going to have that and then the screening and then a Q&A with myself, the other director, Michael, and Ben DeSoto. Oh, my gosh. So um, how would we get more information? You can go to the site, right? Yes. BenDeSoto.com? Yes. BenDeSoto.com and also at Ben DeSoto Photography on Instagram. There's an Eventbrite link. Click on that and tickets are available. Andrew, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks I'm so for glad me. you took on this project because you're about to share one of the most iconic photographers out there with the entire world. Thanks. And he truly deserves it. Thank you so much for your thank work. You. We've got a lot more on Morning Dose when we come back, so stick around.